Ibrahim, the honored members of the Malaysian and Philippine delegations, members of the press corps, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Prime Minister Datu Seri Anwar Ibrahim and I had a cordial and productive discussion on Philippines-Malaysia bilateral cooperation, reaffirming our two countries' desire to revitalize relations as we traverse past the pandemic, then through the years that towards a new normal. As immediate neighbors, the Philippines and Malaysia recognize the importance of maintaining peace and security in our region. As such, we agreed to continue our cooperation on political, political and security matters, rekindling the joint commission meetings and joint initiatives to combat transnational crime and terrorism. With the ongoing impacts of the pandemic and geopolitical upheavals challenging our national economies and the prospects of a global recovery, we agreed to re reinvigorate trade and investment exchanges with a special focus on the halal industry, agriculture and food security, and the digital economy. Our shared historic roots are deep and our cultures enjoy a natural affinity to one another. As such, we spoke of further deepening our people-to-people -people ties through continued cultural exchanges and tourism. I acknowledge the role of the Philippine diaspora in Malaysia and their contribution to both our economies. And as founding members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East Asian Growth Area, the Philippines and Malaysia have ASEAN centrality embedded into our regional outlooks. We have thus resolved to support development and peace-building initiatives within this group, including the importance of achieving a resolution to the, to the situation on Myanmar. We commended the progress made towards achieving sustainable and inclusive peace in Mindanao. It is a culmination of years of effort and sincerity amongst all parties, which will soon realize the dividends of peace. We have recognized the great contribution that Malaysia has made to the peace process in Southern Philippines. And we hope that uh, this support that they have shown over the past few years will continue and will continue to contribute to the success of the peace process and the establishment of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. I therefore invited Malaysia to continue supporting the Philippine government's efforts to bring development and enhancement to the livelihoods of Mindanaoans. Once again, I thank Prime Minister Anwar for coming to the Philippines, the first head of government I have had the pleasure of receiving during my administration. Your visit is a testament to our enduring friendship as ASEAN brothers who share the same vision of prosperity and of peace. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. On behalf of uh, Aziza and the delegation, I must express my profound thanks and gratitude for the warm welcome. And uh, I believe and concur what you have expressed the need to not only to affirm our commitment to work together, but to enhance Malaysia-Philippine relations. Guided by shared interests, multinational, multidimensional bilateral cooperation, and vibrant people-to-people -people interaction. President Marcos Jr., uh, let me assure you that um, the new administration in Malaysia will be more than happy to further enhance this collaboration. Our bilateral cooperation is multi-sectoral, covering trade and investment, education, health, agriculture, health, tourism, and culture. And I have uh, alluded to earlier how our first generation of Malaysian professionals benefited immensely from the work at Los Banos and some of the known centers of learning in the Philippines. Our defense and security ties are also strong and growing. We share common borders, 
and to an extent quite porous. Therefore, the collaboration needs to be further enhanced. We agreed to resume the eighth joint commission meeting to be led both by both foreign ministers this year at a mutually convenient date. It's our turn to host this meeting, and I have advised uh, the colleagues in the foreign ministry to facilitate and accelerate this process. We also discussed areas for further collaboration, new and important sectors such as halal industry, food security, which you have placed so much importance and have actually taken impressive strides in this direction. Digital economy and are among the key areas that I propose as potential cooperation. The President and I also agreed that both countries should intensify efforts to increase the volume of trade and investments. We have had a good beginning, but there's no excuse why we can't further increase the both trade and investment that would be of tremendous benefit to both our countries. We also agreed that we should deepen the existing strong people-to-people -people ties through closer cultural and tourism collaboration, education and sports. Malaysia stands ready to explore potential new collaboration with the Philippines in this regard. Now the peace process in Mindanao. I must express again my profound thanks and gratitude. This has been a century long um, contentious issues that invariably affect the region and in particular Malaysia too. And under your leadership, President, you have seen great strides in this direction. And, and I, I think it is only our duty as a good neighbour to support and facilitate the process. And I stand guided, whatever things need to be done at the bilateral, multilateral level, to support this endeavour. It has to succeed in the interest of the Philippines and Malaysia and the region, and, and then utilise this enormous potential to the benefit of our people. Malaysia will also continue to offer assistance to the Bangsa Moro people through various capacity building programs, including through our Malaysia Technical Cooperation Program. In my meeting with the President, I've asked the Philippines' assistance and cooperation to expedite the recommendation of nationals so that they can be repatriated to the Philippines in a timely manner. And I am pleased that uh, the willingness to uh, facilitate this arrangement in a mutually agreed fashion. We also reiterated our commitment to continue supporting and enhancing cooperation with the BIMMP, IAGA, including hosting the Brunei Indonesia Malaysia Philippines Facilitation Center. I did express my concern about the uh, contentious, unresolved Myanmar issue, which is affecting Malaysia adversely due to the huge number of refugees, exceeding 200,000 people now in Malaysia. Uh, the President, in his wisdom, has reiterated the need for the five-point consensus, but I would uh, certainly uh, suggest with this experience of wisdom to explore new areas how the Myanmar junta can be persuaded to work and collaborate as a team within ASEAN and resolve the outstanding issues which, is, which cannot be considered as purely internal because it's affecting the security and welfare of the region. We did discuss the South China Sea issue, and I shared President Marcos Jr.'s uh, concern that due to the complexity and sensitivity of the issue, we should try and engage and take the position uh, at the multilateral level between ASEAN so that we have a comprehensive approach and achieve uh, an amicable resolution to this outstanding problem. Maraming salamat.
for Mr. President, I am extremely pleased. I must reiterate again that I was first here in Malakanyang Palace <laughs> when President Marcos was the president as a young Minister of Agriculture and how pleased I am to be back here with Marcos Jr. Kambombong to be there. And, and um, thank you very much for this hospitality and I'm of course deeply touched by your kind words and support. Thank you. Thank you very much.